Hi friends, welcome to our channel DIY Almost Everything. Today we are going to create a rainwater harvesting filter. Now why do we create rainwater harvesting? Reason, if you go in a local market, you get it around 6 to 7 thousand rupees. But they are not that good. Reason, they will just do a normal filter. But uh, also they do not support big terrace, maybe around 500-600 square feet. So I thought why not to create a rainwater harvesting it yourself. Let's see a diagram how we will do it. So first I will explain you why a diagram, what we are trying to do. So this is your house, your terrace water flow will go this way and your generally it will go to drainage, the wastage, right? However, what we will do is, we will put a valve here. We will allow the water to flow for the first rain. And after the first rain, we will close the valve. And the water will flow from filter 1 and then filter 2. The first filter will remove the dirt, any leaves, anything which is a waste material. And second filter will actually make the water drinkable. Yes, I mean drinkable. We will create two filters. For this video, we will do only filter one as it will be a big video and it is a big activity as well. So we will first see the filter one, which is only a dirt removal filter and filter two, we will see in part two, which will be actually making the water as good as RO water. Now what you can do with this water? This can either be stored in the sump or the water tank or you can directly put this water into your borewell. I will be putting it into borewell as well as sump uh, and we will actually show this practically in our part 3 video. Before going ahead, I would like to explain you what are the material you will need and what will be a temporary costing. Please note, I have used all supreme pipe material and because I have taken in small quantity, the cost is little higher. But let's go through it quickly. You will need a 6 inch pipe, 3 feet, which will be approximately 600 rupees. You will need a 6 to 3 inch T. Now please note, you may not get 6 to 3 inch, then get 6 to 4 inch. It is also fine. I have got 6 to 4 inch T because I could not find one. It will cost you 550. You will need a 4 inch pipe, approximately 5 feet. 6 to 3 inch reducer which will be again 210 rupees threaded MTA 6 inch if you are not sure what is threaded MTA 6 inch give me few minutes I will show you what it is and threaded cap of 6 inch this will both come around 1000 rupees if you buy branded good quality you will need a mosquito net 260 rupees this mosquito net is just normal plastic mosquito net which you can get at any hardware shop you will need some cable tie which will be around 50 rupees, one sponge which will be 20 rupees and of course a solution adhesive to stick up all the pipes. It will cost you 100 rupees. So the cost which is coming is 3140. Now please note the same water filter available in the market will go you around 7 to 8000 and that will be half the size which we are making. This will be almost double the size it will be able to cover almost 2000 square feet of your slab or the terrace area in irrespective what is the rainfall and my personal recommendation instead of buying please do at home you will enjoy it as well as you will be able to save water and save our nation from water scarcity now i will show you what are the parts which we need this is the t 6 inch to 4 inch as i said i could not find 6 to 3 inch but we can still work with this. I before starting the video I by mistake stick this pipe but you will need a 3 feet 6 inch pipe uh, I have, and you have to cut it into half. This is MTA threaded. This is 6 inch. On one side it is without thread. On the other side it is thread. Then you will need a threaded 6 inch cap. You will need one 4 inch cap this is not mandatory even if you don't buy it is fine but I bought it because I thought uh, just cost 50 rupees not a problem 6 to 4 inch reducer now because I did not got 6 to 3 inch T 
that's why I had to got get both six to four inch, six to four inch. You will need a mosquito mesh. This is a normal mesh which you get at any shop. Six inch pipe, which we already said, I have already cut it into two pieces. A four inch pipe, minimum five feet. This is a smaller piece, but I have already have a big piece. But to show you, I am showing you need a four inch pipe. You will need some cable ties. You will need the solution. I have brought M seal solution. This is hundred and ten rupees for two hundred ml. You have. You will need a sponge, a normal sponge which you get at a hardware shop. You will need a cutter or a saw. You don't need both. You need one. If you have a patience, you can use this. If you don't have a patience, you can use this. Uh, I already had this machine, so I will be using it. But if you don't have a machine, don't worry. You can just use a normal saw. It will just take little more time. But if you want to buy such machine, this is a Bosch machine which I got for two thousand rupees. But in local market, you get machines even as cheap as five hundred or six hundred rupees. Now the next step is to assemble this. So what I will do first, I will try to show you an assembly without sticking it. I will show you a simple assembly and then we will go to the next step of adhes putting adhesive and then sticking it completely. So what you have to do, the pipe, you have to take 4 to 5 feet of pipe. You have to cut this pipe into such uh, uh, pieces to make 3. So what will actually happen is water will come from inside and it will come out from here and it will be filtered. So now we will make the first and the most important part of our filter. So we will tie this net to our filter. So I have bought this net. I will be tying this net to the filter. So now we have tied mosquito mesh to it. What I have done is very simple method. I just made holes and I have put the tie. Similarly, I have put multiple ties. Now please note this is a plastic so don't put too many ties which will damage your plastic and one more thing I have actually done double netting so I I took if you see here I have uh, circulated it twice just to make sure the filter is much good so now our filter is ready now what we will start assembling our unit right so now what I have done I have taken the T I have put this 6 inch pipe on this side 6 inch pipe this side now don't worry about what size you want you can be comfortable but what I am doing is I am making at least 4 feet size right now we have put this together I will install one four to 6 to 4 inch reducer on the one side I am not sticking it up now I am just showing you the assembly I will stick it up once everything is ready I will use this at the end so i will put this on the other side this way this is how it will work and this will cap now why i have installed cap so in future if there is too much of dirt accumulated in this you can just unscrew the cap remove the filter and clean it now i will quickly show you how this filter will go inside so this is how it will go inside yeah, now if you see there is a huge play in between, I will, I will have to cut the tape and then eventually we will put this. So this is how the unit will get ready. So this is how your unit is ready. Water will go from here, it will enter the filter, it will filter and it will come out from here. That's the mechanism which we are trying to build. So if you see here, in this hole, the water filter is working as a filter. The water will come out here and it will go into the second filter. Now what we will do, we will put this together. Before putting this together, you have to take a 4 inch pipe. You will have to cut this pipe and make a small cut and throw it. So the pipe size should reduce. Did you understood what I said? You take a 4 inch pipe, cut it, make it reduce. Why we did it? I'll show you in a minute. So what I will do with this is, I will put it here. Now, what is the reason behind it? So that when the water from terrace will enter, so from the water from terrace will enter from here, it should not go outside. It should directly go inside. 
I cannot use a coupling here because this is 4 inch and I want this exactly to fit inside this. This is the exact reason I have made this. Uh, and what we will do now, we will start fixing the water filter. Let's start assembly. So what I have done, I have taken the T, I have installed one pipe inside. Uh, I have stick it already. Now I will use the second pipe and I will install it inside. Uh, so just put the solution and insert it. Hmm. Now I'm applying the solution inside. Please be generous because this is a one time which you, are, you will be doing. So uh, don't hesitate to put more solution. So now I will be putting this pipe into the T. Make sure it is pressed completely. And before closing it, check that it has been inserted completely. So now this is ready of our first unit. Now the next step is to put the reducer. So again same procedure, put the solution and insert the reducer. Now I will apply the solution. As I said, please be a little generous to put solution. It is a one time which you are doing. Uh, if you need more solution, please feel free to buy it. Now I have applied the solution. Next step is same. Make sure you insert it properly. Ensure it is completely inserted. Okay, so now I have put the reducer, I have put the T, I have put two six inch pipe. Now the next step is to put the MTA. So I will be putting solution and I will be inserting here. So now I am installing this again. Just make sure you press it completely. Now we have assembled it. I have put all the adhesive. We have a reducer. We have a 6 inch pipe. We have a T. We have again a 6 inch pipe and then we have MTA which cap we will install at the last. Now the next step is to stick this here. So you'll have to be very careful in sticking this because once you stick it is done. You cannot change it again. So there are two options we have. One is to put it here and second option which we have is we can put it in the pipe which is coming inside. Now uh, my suggestion is don't put it this here. Uh, you put it inside the uh, pipe which will come here so that the water should directly enter here and it should not go outside. Now our filter is ready, our uh, cartilage is ready. What I have done as I showed you, I have put this 3 inch pipe. I said you have two options, one put in this or put in the outer pipe. Both are fine, the idea is the water should go inside. Now next step is to put this cap here. Now I did a small mistake. I kept a very less room here but that is fine because the idea of this is just to make sure the water is not coming out and it just f filters and come out. So now I will stick this. I have installed this cap. Again as I said you don't need this cap. If you don't have cap you can just put a sponge here. I will show you in a quick minute how you can sh do it. You get this sponge, cut it into five, put it below this or you can put it inside the like this and just put your pipe. It still works. But the reason I did it, I thought let's keep it nice, simple and that's why I've done it. I still have a choice to put this sponge and put it here but I'm not doing that as I said. Now the step is to put this inside and I will be inserting it. Yeah, so now what we will do, we will do the final assembly. I am just putting this to avoid any gap there and build a right pressure because when the rainwater will come, it will have a huge pressure and the filter which we have put inside will come out. So now what I am doing, I am just putting the sponge, I am now tying it. So now our filter is completely ready. Uh, we have reducer, we have 6 inch pipe, T 6 inch pipe, MTA and the cartridge is inside. You can see from here. This is how the cartridge is. So water will go from here, rain water will go from here, filter will come out and then you will be able to do it. Now at the beginning if you remember I said I could not find 6 to 3 inch and I am going to install 3 inch pipe to maintain standard pressure. 
and I got six to four inch uh, T. So you get this. Uh, I don't know what they call it, but you get this uh, material which is helping you to reduce from four inch to three inch. So this is four inch. This is three inch. So it just goes here, and we can install it. Similarly, I will install it here also. Now what I will do? I will just put a normal solution, and I will install it. So now we have installed this. Now I will put a three inch pipe here and three inch pipe here. So this is our filter ready completely. See the size of it. It's such a big filter and this will give you almost 2000 to 3000 square feet area coverage also about your terrace. Thank you for watching. If you like this, please subscribe to our channel. Please click the like button and we will be meeting again in our part 2 video where we will be creating the second filter. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day ahead.